So I've been working on designing my own PCBs for some custom modules I wanted to make. Um, this actually started last spring, not long after I got into modular in the first place, but uh, I'm not actually very good at circuit design. So it's taken a while to get them to a state where they can start to be made public. It's been pretty fun though. Um, I'm now pretty comfortable working with KiCad and uh, doing some surface map components, which I've never done before. So that's pretty good. The first was a simple logic module, originally based on the uSynth design, but iterated into something quite different. I ended up implementing all the internal logic using NAND gates. They have this really cool property of being a universal logic operator, which means that using just them, you can create any other gate that you want. This doesn't change how the module works in any way. I just thought it was cool and wanted to honor it in my own little way. I also added an implications operator, because I'm kind of fascinated with its role in the development of mathematical lo logic. Um, and as far as I know, that's a modular first, so cool. And then finally, the panel is silk screened with a notation from Frege's Begriff Shift, because I'm also obsessed with that, so of course I did. I actually finished that board a couple of months ago, but then an even better idea came to me. Why limit it to any one fixed set of operators? There are 16 logical operators possible but I only ever really see AND, OR, and sometimes XOR used. But don't worry about the names. I think for modular purposes, a truth table is really the best way to think about it. We're dealing with binary signals here. Gates, triggers, whatever. They're true or false, on or off, high or low. For two binary signals, A and B, that gives us four possible combinations of outputs. A low and B low, A high and B low, A low and B high, and A high and B high. The input must, by definition, always be in one of those four states. Any logical operator is simply a definition of what outputs we want for every possible state. AND, for instance, is low for these three and high for just this one. OR is high for all three of these, and XOR is high for just these two. This presentation is called a truth table. If you understand the table, you understand everything about that operator. But like I said, there are a lot more logical operators possible than just this handful. 16 in total, each with its own name. Multiple names, actually, but don't worry about that. Most of them aren't even used in any real sense that I'm aware of. Just think of a truth table as a grid of toggle switches. The input to our module will determine which of the four toggle switches we're looking at, and the knit state, high or low, will determine what the output from the module is. I ended up getting really literal about those toggle switches, resulting in my new module, Truth Table. It's a pretty simple circuit inside. The inputs are fed through a Schmidt trigger to clean them up, and then those are used as selectors in a multiplexer. That then chooses which of the toggle switch values to send to the output. It turns the whole thing into a lookup table, basically. Now the module actually has two complete Truth Table grids on it, and that's just because of how the multiplexer chip worked. They both run off the same input, but since the chip allowed it, I figured I might as well add the second one. I put the entire KiCad project up on GitHub with a link in the description. Uh, there's also a link to a DigiKey bomb for all the parts that you'll need. Unfortunately, you do need to create a DigiKey account to see the bomb. I didn't realize that when I started using them, and I'm sorry, but other than that, it's all there. Um, so yeah, feel free to get some boards fabbed if you're interested. Uh, this is done in surface mount, so it all fit on a 4HP board, but don't let that stop you. Um, SMD isn't nearly as scary as I thought it was before getting into this weird quarantine hobby. A magnifying lamp would probably help with this one, but even that isn't strictly necessary. And now, some demos.